Hi everybody, let's talk about reading records. So reading records, uh, most of you will be familiar with these. These are the little booklets that get sent home, um, certainly early years, key stage one. Sometimes people turn to a reading journal in key stage two, but it's the little booklet that gets sent home with children's reading books for parents to be able to write a comment in. And I always assumed that everybody sent these home, that that's just something that we did in schools. But actually, I've discovered over the years that loads and loads of schools have stopped sending reading records home. Um, sometimes this is because of things going on in the school and um, some routines and habits have just got lost along the wayside and not been reinstated. Sometimes this is because the school doesn't see the value in them, so they feel that actually it's become um, a bit of a pointless task, people just ticking and signing and there's no value in actually having these books. And I would really, really like to encourage everybody to be sending home reading records. I would send them all the way um, up through Key Stage 2 or perhaps a slightly more mature version, um, but I think they can be an incredibly powerful and useful tool in helping us um, to develop our young readers. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about a tip, um, an insert that you can put on the inside front cover of these reading records. So there isn't one on here, this is actually from my son's school. But I have this little insert um, that I recommend that people use, and I'm going to read it to you. And then if you're watching this video on YouTube, or go to, go to YouTube to watch this video, and I will um, cut and paste all this wording into the comment section so you can just lift it from there. Or um, I will upload this on my website www.abigailsteeltraining.com on the resources page there'll be um, this insert that you can download and then please do tweak this to make it your own so this is the way that I would word it but take this idea make it work for you in your setting how to help your child with reading at home your child will bring home a reading book that is closely matched to their current reading development this means that on the whole, the book will contain the specific phonics and words they have been learning at school. Please support your child to read this book as independently as possible. It is a good idea for them to read the book more than once to help them practice fluency. If they get stuck, help them to sound out the word or tell them the word and make a note of the difficulty in the reading record comment section. Many books contain inside cover guidance, which is designed to help you talk with your child about the book. Your child will also bring home a library book. This book may contain phonics and words that your child has not yet been taught. Please support your child by reading this book to them or sharing the reading together. Please enjoy reading with your child and chat with them about the contents of the books they bring home. Your comments in the reading record help us to understand your child's preferences, successes and challenges. For further guidance on how you can help your child with reading at home, please refer to our guidance booklet, Reading at Home, attend one of our reading workshops or ask your child's teacher. So the purpose of this little note, this insert to parents, that I recommend that you stick on the inside front cover of the reading record book, really just sets out for the parent um, the expectations, what you would like them to do. We can't always assume that, that parents will know what we want from them. And it really just explains the books that children will be bringing home. It is the expectation that children, when they're learning to read, will take home a book that is closely matched to their current need. So certainly for children um, in foundation, uh, in reception year, in key stage one, will be taking home a phonics decodable reader like this one. In the decodable reader, there are usually some cover notes on the front of the back that parents can use to help them. That was mentioned in the note. But this reader, as it said in the note, is closely matched to the child's individual reading need. 
and the expectation is that the child should be pretty much able to read this book independently with very little input, very little help. It did give guidance in the note what to do if they do need help. So it said, if they get stuck, help them to sound out the word. That needs to be the primary route to reading, looking at the phonics. Or tell them the word. What we don't want is that awful situation of the child getting stuck on the word, the child trying really, really hard to decode it. So, er, er, d but they're not quite there with their blending yet and they start to come out with random things like dog, woods, girl, because they're doing things like looking at the picture. It's actually far better to encourage the parent just to tell that child the word and then they can make a note of it in the comment section and that's really informative and helpful for teachers in school. So that's the decodable reader closely matched to need and ability and as children go into key stage two, that might be a reading book that actually they're no longer on a phonics decodable reader, um, perhaps they're on a, an accelerated reader book or a later colour band, but it's a book that the teacher has chosen or recommended that that child read because it's really closely linked to what they need, it's their reading ability. And then a second book, which is a choosing book. So in this example, it's a library book or, you know, just a, a story book, a book from the book box, a lovely picture book. But it might be that actually for the child's choosing book, they want to choose um, something from the reading scheme, sort of a parallel part of the reading scheme that's not strictly decodable. So the expectation is whether it's a non-decodable reader from a reading scheme or whether it's a library book like this picture book, that the expectation on the child is that they can't read that independently because there are words in there that they don't yet know. They haven't been taught all the phonics and therefore the recommendation or the request to home is please either read it to your child because there's so much value in reading to them or read it together. Sometimes you can take turns at reading some words each or the adult reads the words and the child follows and joins in with bits that they recognise. But that is my recommendation. One book that's matched the child's need, their decodable reader. One book that is the child's free choice. They can choose any book that they want. Fiction, non-fiction, non-decodable reader, library book. And then you have your insert note stuck in the inside of the reading record, inside front cover, which really lays out to parents explaining to them what these books are for um, and the expectation and how the parents can help with that. So that is my tip for today. Um, I'm going to talk to you on another day about how we can improve the comments that we write in school in the reading book, uh, which will also improve the quality of comments coming from home, which can be really, really useful. So no more of this just putting a date and ticking and a smiley face, um, or reluctant to read and a date. We're gonna be using the reading record, using the comments in a much more valuable way. So check back for that. Um, and that's it for now. Have a good day.